Um, hey guys, what's up? It's been a minute since I did a video that was kind of like makeup related. I've kind of just been doing a bunch of lifestyle and a little sprinkle of fashion here and there and I kind of miss beauty. So I have been trying to dive back into doing beauty because I miss it. And a lot of the products that I am going to be showing you guys in this video I actually use to create this face. Um, this is like my go-to standard when things are tight and I don't have a lot of time the makeup look that I like to go for to me it's really simple it's really pretty it's like soft glam it's easy for me to do I can do it in like 20 minutes 15 minutes um and I love it so be sure to comment down below let me know if you guys want to see like my everyday glam soft glam situation also if you hear noise in the back and you're new here you know that I live on the busiest street in the world like I live on a street that there's traffic non-stop day night middle of the night early morning there's always traffic on my street so i apologize in advance hopefully it's not too annoying and we can get through this haul but i'm gonna stop talking um about all of that and we can get into the products i have three bags of things that i've picked up from sephora and other uh like makeup stores so i have a problem and there's also a couple of things over here that it's kind of ridiculous how much I love makeup and how much I love beauty um, and I actually really really miss it so I'm excited to show you guys everything that I picked up everything that I got and yeah everything will be linked down below so if you see anything look in the description box I will have everything linked um, in the first bag right here we have some products I I'm so there goes the noise I'm so embarrassed. A lot of this stuff I couldn't control myself and I had to use it. Like I just couldn't not use it. I had to use it. So some of these things are repurchases of things that I really, really loved and I needed to get like them again because I ran out because I use them so frequently. Um, the first thing that we have is this Super Air Whip Moisture Cream Kale Spinach Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer from Youth to the People. This right here, the first time I ever tried this, I was gifted this product and I literally used the entire jar. Like there was nothing left at the bottom of the jar. It was completely gone and I was just so obsessed with it. They actually gifted me another one um, and I really, really like this. If you guys have been on my channel, this is what it looks like for a long time or if you're not like, you know, like one of my, if you're one of my like OG subscribers you would know that i use this in so many of my skincare routines i talk about this product a lot i really really like it it smells really fresh and clean it's light and it's just so good and nice on the skin it just feels really really soft and i'm a huge huge fan of youtube people skincare i don't know if you can really tell the difference but for reference this has nothing on it and then this one has the moisturizer it's just so pretty it's not greasy it's not heavy really light and I'm talking over the noise and it's bugging me <laughs> but it's a really really great moisturizer so if you're in the market for a lightweight moisturizer that just makes your skin feel like quenched and fed if that makes sense I would highly recommend this product because this is my second time using like a whole entire jar like this is my second purchase of this well I'm a purchase because I didn't buy it the first time but you know what I mean this is my second jar of this and I love it Next up, we have the Fenty Beauty Invisi Matte Blotting Powder. I have never tried this, and I'm very interested to see how it works. Honestly, we could probably test it out right now. It's a little hot in my room. I'm filming. This powder has been out for a while. It's not a new product at all by any means. It's new to me, though. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just a literal invisible blotting powder I should have picked up the brush that goes to it so I can take this and put this in my purse it's super compact and it'll fit really cute in a small little bag or like a little clutch to touch up your makeup this is not a setting powder um, it was put it was specified that this is not a setting powder it's just a blotting powder to get rid of any shine any oiliness throughout the day so I don't know I don't think you can use this as like an actual setting powder it did come with a little Fenty puff and I'm gonna try a little bit now. I'm kind of oily like around my nose. So I'm gonna take, ooh, I can't. It is plastic on it, so I might wanna take that off. Um, so I'm gonna try a little bit. Is it actually invisible? Let's see. This is the powder on my hand. It's really soft. Wait a minute. Ooh. It's like really, really soft. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. This is the shine and let's see. 
Okay, I mean. It definitely did something. This is the side that has the Invisi Matte setting powder and then the lighting powder. And that's it. Powder. Um, and this is the side that does not so it does make a difference I'm gonna do the other side crazy girl it is oily around her nose my upper lip sometimes too I need this when I'm out and about just to kind of grab out my purse to touch up blot whatever I have to do because I really don't bring actual like makeup to touch up throughout the day like when I'm like out on the town I have on a full face of glam I kind of just let my makeup do its own thing I am actually a huge fan of letting your makeup kind of break down and like your oils peek through throughout the day I just feel like it melts into the skin more and looks more natural um but I don't like to look greasy so I like to keep my oily areas matte and then the rest of my face just kind of let it do its own thing I just think it looks pretty um so I'm really excited to continue to test this out and see if it actually works because it's Fenty Beauty, and in my eyes, Rihanna can do no wrong. It just is what it is. The next product is actually already ripped out of the box. It is this NYX The Brow Glue. It looks like this. Here's the little packaging. It's so tiny and so cute. I have two of these. This is my second one that I purchased. The other one, I used it to the maximum. It's literally dry. Like I can't use it anymore. And I initially saw this on Desi Perkins Instagram and she was talking about how it was really good and how it just helped her brows stay up all day. And I really love how her brows look. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it. Tried it and I really liked it. I normally use the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills, the brow freeze or the Beverly, I'm lying, the benefit um, 24 hour brow setter. And I like that, but I find that it gets really crunchy to make your brows hard. Um, this is not like that. It has more of a like soap brow feel to it versus the like crunchy. Like when I use the brow setter from Benefit, although it's really, really good, it does like set into place and you can like like tap on it. You can kind of hear like a little bit of crunch. So I opted to try this out and I really, really like it. It's my second time purchasing it and it's also super affordable. So that's actually what I used on my brows today. So if you like them, that's what I used. Um, next up, Another product that's already out of the packaging, why I kept the boxes. Initially, I was going to put the product back into the box, but I used it and I just didn't get around to doing it. And I didn't want the sun to go down before I could film this video because it's already like 5 o'clock in the afternoon, my time. So anyway, next product is what I use on my brows as well. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is an oldie, but a tried and true goodie for me. I love this brow pencil. I love Anastasia brow products. It's in the shade medium brown and I love it. I think it's perfect. It's not too red. It's not too dark. It's like a perfect everyday color, especially if you just go in and stroke, do a couple strokes through your brows and not like really outline it. You can get a really natural brow. Um, and it's a super fine little, there goes the noise. It's a super fine little point and it's just an amazing product. It has a spoolie on the other end, which is really nice to kind of just go in and like a one-stop shop brow product that you can just toss in your bag to touch up on the go or if you're running late it's really sleek slim and you can fit in your purse next i have i actually have two of these i don't know where the other one is i think it's in one of my purses i'm not sure because i've been using them so much this is the nyx this is juice gloss it's an electrolyte an electrolyte infused color lip gloss and this is in the color watermelon sugar and then i have guava something i will put it somewhere on the screen that's the one I've been traveling with a lot like it's been in my bag it's been in my car it's always with me um these glosses are really really nice they have a nice light pale pale very faint color to them and they smell really good too like it just smell like whatever the fragrance is or the scent is called it's kind of like mimics that fragrance but it's not overpowering really simple easy to use and it's just really something you can just drop in your bag in case your lips get a little dry or you can put it over your lip combo or where it's in liner. I love lip products. I'm always going to have a million lip products in my purse. Right now, I probably have like at least four or five products just for my lips in my bag right now. And I don't feel guilty about it. I need my lip products. So this is another pickup. It was super affordable. And I kind of I kind of stand for NYX products. Like some of my products are really, really good. And I like them. Next is another lip product. This is the Sephora. Oh, why is it this hair is making me annoyed? The next product is a Sephora collection product. This is the Sephora collection 
Number 11, it's like a plumping gloss. I don't really care about the plumping effect. I have pretty big lips. I just like the color of it. Um, it's really pretty. And have I worn this yet? It's open, so I think, yeah, I definitely have. I don't recall when I wore this, but I have worn it. And I think it's really pretty. I stand their gloss. It has like little gold and pink and lavender, like purpley, sparkly reflex. Really pretty color. And I like it, it's just really cute. Let me show you guys what it looks like over here. Let's put a little bit more so you guys can really see. I should have got a napkin as well. But this is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see. The lighting is so bad right now. It's like the sun is peeking through. And like if I go too forward, it's like sunlight. If I go too back, I don't know if you guys can see it. But here is what it looks like. I'm terrible at I guess swatching products but it looks good on my hand and it's really pretty um, I also like the formula it's really it's not thick in a bad way but thick so it has a nice coverage if that makes sense next I have the benefits their real extreme precision liner this is in extra black just looks like this I don't think there's anything particularly special about this uh, eyeliner I just love eyeliner and I need a black I do Love that it has a super fine pointy tip and it's just like, like really, really sharp. Um, and it's extra, extra black. But I will let you guys know here right now, I am starting to transition into being a brown liner girl. One of my favorite brown eyeliners is from House of Labs. Um, no, House Labs, I'm sorry. And it is called Whiskey and it's such a beautiful eyeliner color. So amazing, it's like the perfect brown. It's my favorite and I have it in a makeup bag. It's somewhere around here but it's one of my favorite uh, brown liners and I also you never can go wrong with a black liner to be honest next I have a product from buxom I don't own a lot of buxom products I have some of their glosses and I think that's pretty much it like I don't yeah I think that's it I have like a couple glosses from them I've never tried any of their blushes but I was on TikTok and TikTok made me do it so this is the Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush, and it's in the shade Ibiza. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like similar to the blush that I have on now. I am a very bubblegum, bright pink, sweet, cute type of blush. I feel like the more you over blush, the more sweet and cute your makeup looks. If you can tell, I love blush. It's my favorite, favorite part of makeup. That and setting my under eyes is so satisfying to me. It's just... Mwah, it's amazing so I got this blush to try it out because TikTok said I needed it and I bought it so that's what it looks like super pretty and I think it would look really good on my skin so hopefully I'm right next I have this is from the Danessa Myricks Beauty it's Vision Flush Lip Cheek and Eye Color and I got it in the shade Sweet Nectar so this can be used on your lips your cheeks and in your eyes so I like doing monochromatic looks, if you guys can't tell, like everything is pretty much the same color and the only thing that really pops is my blush. Um, but for the most part, everything is pretty like cohesive. And I feel like whenever you're doing your makeup and you have a product that is like multi-purpose, it just makes your makeup process a little bit easier. You don't always have to do it, but I like to and it's worked for me. So let's see what she looks like. This is cute packaging very sleek oh it has a little brush hmm. so we'll put some here a little bit goes a long way and it's really really pretty i don't know if you guys can see it. it's like a really pretty orange color all of my blushes are pretty much pink or orange and i mix them together to get my own custom color because i love blush it does dry down matte and i like that because i don't want to have too much sparkle on my cheeks i like to be in control of how much I put like how much glitter I put on my face because sometimes it gets out of control and it looks crazy so it is a matte shade it doesn't have any shimmer that's it for that bag let's move all of that stuff over there we have another small bag from Sephora next up I have this one size beauty brow pencil in brow kiki this is in the shade medium brown now I'm not gonna lie to you I used this the other day because I actually tried to return it but I had it for a long time and I had missed my date because I didn't like the color or at least I thought I didn't like the color so yesterday when I came home I opened it I was like let me see if I can make this work and I actually really really like it so I'm glad I didn't return it I need brow pencils on hand because I feel like I'm constantly putting them in my bag or putting them in my makeup bag or in my car so when I'm gone and I need to like 
do a really quick brow and some mascara, I have a brow pencil. So I need multiple of them at all times. It's actually a really, really good color and it's really tiny. It's kind of, it's actually smaller than the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil um, that I just showed you guys. And it's just really dry, which I kind of like because I don't like my brows to look um, like wet or glossy or greasy. I don't like that. So I always end up setting it with a translucent powder after I finish. And I think that I won't have to do that with this brow color if you can see it. It's just... It's natural it's like the color I'm wearing right now it's literally the same it just has a very tiny tiny um, point so it looks like really natural and really organic next up we have a skincare product which I'm really really excited about I have been in love with Fenty I am so hooked on Fenty right now like it's crazy so a couple of months ago like last year I actually tried out the Fenty face wash and I fell in love with it. I went through the entire tube. My tube that I have now is completely empty. It's so good. It's so good on the skin. It didn't make me break out. Like I'm really a huge fan of that face wash. And then I had a mini of the Fenty fat water. Fell in love. Like I feel like it really makes your pores really tight and it shrinks them and your makeup just looks so good after you do your skincare routine. It's amazing. A chef's kiss. I'm a huge, huge fan. Obviously, I went and bought the full size one because it just works so good on the skin. Like, I have larger pores around my nose area on both sides. I just feel like since I've been using this, my pores are super tiny, super small, and they're kind of undetectable, and I'm here for that. So, this product was a must for me. I had to get the full size of this. If you haven't tried any of the Fenty products, I would highly recommend trying out the fat water from Fenty and the face wash. It's amazing. I love it. It's great. So the next product is another product that I just mentioned a second ago. This is the Fenty Face Wash. It's called the Total Cleanser. I use this as a double cleanser. So what I do is I'll take off my makeup with like my solar water or some cotton pads and just take off my makeup. And then I'll go in with this and I'll wash my face and then I'll go in with another face wash and wash my face again. Just to make sure my skin is extra clean. My skin doesn't feel stripped. It doesn't feel itchy, dry, tight. It just feels really, really amazing on the skin. Be mindful that this spreads, like this goes a long way. You don't need to OD. Like when I got my first face wash before I bought like a replacement, I was like squeezing it out and like lathering it up and it's just unnecessary. Like a little bit really goes a long way um, with this product, which is why I repurchased it again because it lasts me a really, really long time and it's really good. So Fenty, if you're watching, holler at me. <laughs> Next, let's move on to the big bag. Um, this product I don't have to show you guys because it's actually in my makeup bag. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I have used this setting spray every single day since I bought it. I bought a little travel size one because I wanted to try it out because I feel like sometimes certain, certain setting sprays don't cooperate with me in my makeup routine. So I was like, yeah, I'm not really sold. I was using the Kudale Beauty Elixir and I feel like that just melts makeup into your skin so beautiful. It just makes everything look so seamless and soft and pretty. And I was like, you know what? Let's give Miss Tilbury a try and it is amazing. So I went through the, the full bottle of the travel size one, completely blew through it. I was like, oh my God, it's so good. So I was using it every single day. And my makeup just looks so flawless and smooth that I went ahead and purchased the full size one, which is currently in my makeup bag and I used it today. And I'm a huge fan. I stand Miss Tilbury, period. <laughs> um, next is another skincare product. I have not tried this. This is the Rin Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Cleanser. This removes makeup. Um, I'm trying to film. This removes makeup, SPF, and pollution. So, Rin has some really good products. I'm actually using their Dark Spot Moisturizer, which... I've used for so long and I've always mentioned it in my skincare routines and I really really liked it so I'm interested in trying this out to see if I like this as well so that's skincare what else do we have we have more skincare this is also from youth to the people this is the triple peptide and cactus oasis serum this is to plump firm and hydrate I have never tried this product uh, specifically myself but I am a huge fan of the youth to the people products they have really amazing skincare brand 
they have really amazing skincare products and i'm a huge fan of them so i'm interested in trying this out and anything that says they're gonna plump firm tighten moisturize brighten i'm here for it i'm gonna test it out and see how i like it i have another brow product this is from benefit cosmetics this is in the shade 4.5 natural i'm sorry neutral deep brown this is the precisely my brow pencil it's just a brow pencil I told you I buy OD brow pencils because I always lose them, misplace them, and have them all over the place. So I have this one. This is another one of my favorites. Um, super easy to use, convenient, sleek, fits in my bags. Next, I have a con I'm lying. A concealer. A concealer. No, it's not a concealer. It's a mascara. This is from Benefit as well. This is the Bad Girl Bang Waterproof Mascara. I haven't tried this one out um, yet, but I I feel like mascaras just kind of. You know, it's, it's a mascara. I need mascara. I buy mascara. I don't really have a favorite, I don't think. Anyway, next, another brow product. This is the 24-hour brow center that I was telling you guys about from Benefit. Um, I really, really like this, but like I said, it does make your brows very light. If you don't want your brows to move and you don't mind having like a little bit of like, when you rub them, you can feel a little texture because this sets it in place so good, then this is the brow gel for you. Um, I think this is a perfect brow product to use on a no makeup makeup day when you just want to do your brows and a little bit of mascara because your brows are not going to move. So this is just in a clear shade. It doesn't have any color. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like if I can get it open. Ooh. Um, packaging, this is what it looks like. It's like a little mascara for your brows and the brow gel is just clear. Oh my God, it's so hot. But I can't open my window because it's going to be super loud. So I am speeding through this. I'm speeding through this. More skincare. This is from You to the People. I'll sell it. This is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I have a mini one of these and I used it, but I wanted to get another one because I can't find the mini one and I wanted to see like is this really good for me? Like, do I really like this or do I need this or can I just stick with my Fenty? face wash and the other face wash that I use but I also really like this because it comes with a little pump and I love pumps I feel like it just makes the process of doing your skincare so much easier you can also put it in the shower you can put it on your sink and I love that it has minimalistic like packaging so it's not so bam and you can kind of like leave it out on your sink and it won't be too distracting and plus the little travel size one that I bought it didn't have a pump and you just had to like take off the top and pour it out and it looks literally just like this but tinier and it doesn't have a pump and I didn't like that so maybe that's why I didn't use it often and also I lost it so I don't know I bought another one of these to see if I like it next when it comes to skincare I also picked up these eye patches these are the patchology flash patch it's a tongue twister patchology flash patch rejuvenating eye gels these are so good i needed an eye patch that was super hydrating and plumping under the under eye i felt like the last couple of weeks my eyes have my under eyes have been very like dry and like creasing on me and i never really experienced that much creasing like with my under eye and i noticed as of lately like maybe it's i'm not drinking enough water or what it is but um i had a photo shoot which i will put in the cards if you guys haven't seen that vlog you should definitely check it out um but yeah, I had a photo shoot and the makeup artist used these, like she gave me one to use and they just made my under eye feel so soft and like my makeup just glided on really, really smooth. So I picked up two, four, I picked up six of these originally, but I used one and I have five left. So these are really, really good. These are from Ulta. They are not from Sephora. I don't know if Sephora carries these, but I got mine from Ulta Beauty actually when I was standing in the checkout line they you know like how they have like all the minis they always get me let me know in the comments if I'm the only person who experiences like being in the checkout line like, okay I'm done I'm not buying anything else and then as you're like walking to get to the checkout counter you're like ooh, put this in your cart ooh, put this in your cart. it's so tiny it's cute and then the next thing you know you have all the stuff from the checkout but that's what happened with these and I really like them they're really good Okay, so next is the setting spray that I mentioned earlier. This is the Kudale Beauty Elixir. Sir, I'm trying to tell them about my favorite setting spray. Can I? Can I be great? This is the Kudale Beauty Elixir. It's really, really good. I love the way that it smells. You shake it up and you mix the ingredients together and it just smells so fresh and so calming. Like you can use this for your skincare purposes or you can use this to set your makeup or to like 
spray on your face before you put on your makeup i feel like it just makes your makeup look so soft and so natural like it just melts everything into the skin and it feels really good it has like a little tingling effect not an uncomfortable one just like a nice calm like oh look at me treating myself effect um i only got the little one because they didn't have the big one when i went they were all sold out so i ended up getting the small one which i'll probably end up getting the big one because i'm gonna go through this so fast next is another skincare product this is from youtube to the people as well this is the retinol neocinamide youth serum it's to, to smooth and transform your skin elevate it with adaptogens and ceramides this is what it looks like i haven't used this at all this is supposed to um smooth your skin transform your skin and anything with neocinamide i always like it because it gets rid of dark spots hyperpigmentation and discoloration so i'm excited to try this out i haven't used it yet and i know this is one of their newer products that came out a couple months ago so like i said i love me some you to the people so i'm pretty much down to try anything they have from skincare i need to get their eye cream um i heard it was really really good and i'm interested in trying it out myself okay next i picked up these two products these are two of my favorite favorite products i have purchased these so many times repeatedly like back to back to back it's one of my favorite lip balms lip treatments lip oils whatever you want to call it it's my favorite these are the laneige lip glowy balm and the scent pair I bought the last two that they had at Sephora. I don't know if they're trying to discontinue this scent or what they're trying to do, but I really hope that they don't. This is my favorite, favorite lip oil, lip treatment. It makes your lips feel so soft, like instantly your lips feel amazing as soon as you put on your lips. I picked up two of these. This one is empty because it's actually in my purse that I'm currently using now. And I have a backup just in case anything happens or they discontinue it. So anytime I go to Sephora, I try to see if they have this scent. And if they have it, I'll buy it. So I'll have it on hand really really good lip oil if you guys are looking for something that's going to keep your lips moisturized make them feel good but also give you a pretty like gloss effect amazing she's the, she's the best period next i have another danessa myricks um product this is the fusion flush in the shade tutu i haven't tried this but i did swatch it in the store and i just fell in love but again i am a blush girl and i love all things blush oh I, I told you i suck at opening packaging because i get so excited i just want to rip it open um this is in the shade tutu not sure if i mentioned it and it's just like this really pretty pink color you can use this on your eyes your lips your cheeks and it's oh that's bright she's giving the girls bubblegum barbie so this is what it looks like and again this one is also matte it doesn't have any shimmer or any reflex it's just a really true bright pink vibrant bubblegum pink color that's gonna look super good on my skin under my blush like i do cream blush and then i do powder blush on top to set it and make it lock and stay so i can say blush you all day and i love the formula of this it dries down and a little bit for sure goes a long way like you don't need a lot i should do like a monochromatic look she's inspired next i have a product from tatcha uh beauty this is the what's this called hmm. it's a lip product i know that i'm a huge fan of blushes and lip products if you guys can't tell majority of these products are lip and cheek products i love lips and cheeks um this is the tatcha i'm lying the patrick ta plumping gloss and this is called full syringe the shade is in full syringe super pretty like jelly ready type color i wanted to get the other shades but they were sold out and this is the only one that they had left so i was like let me just pick this one up and try it out so it's like it doesn't it has a little bit of color but nothing too crazy it's like a hint of color i'll show you guys hold on i'll do like a glob so you guys can see but it's just like this little red jelly color um and the formula is really nice it's very like jelly like it's not giving gloss it's giving very much so jelly and it's really pretty and it smells like cinnamon i like this i need to try these products out and show you guys what they look like on so that's what i got i'm gonna go to sephora probably sometime this week and see if they have any of the other shades um i think it was called two cc's or 
what was it called? I think it was called 2CC is the color that I wanted, but they didn't have it when I went to Sephora. So that is that. Next, this is a product that I have had and I've been using it all of the time. I'm a lip girl. I love my lips to be moisturized and I don't like not having anything on my lips. I feel weird with that having a balm, a chapstick or something on my lips because I don't know. I, I, I'm just weird like that. I have to have like some type of <laughs> some type of lubrication on my lips. Anyway, this is from Item Beauty. This is the it's like a lip oil and the shade it's called hey y'all that's the color it's called it's like this bright bubblegum pink color again it has like a jelly type texture it's not a gloss it's just more so like a lip oil situation it's really nice and it's just like very light and thin color and it's just very light and faint in color and i also like the applicator for the um lip oil it's like really big and like fluffy and i love that because i have bigger lips so i can cover more space um, i don't know if that matters to anybody else but i enjoy a fluffy like plump lip applicator next let's do fragrances i only have two um but i'm really excited so i love sol janeiro in general their bum bum cream smells amazing their body spray smells amazing their uh, perfume smells amazing so when I was in Sephora the other day I saw this and I was like I have to have it I wanted the little jumbo one well it's not little it's actually jumbo but I thought it was so cute but they didn't have it in this scent they only had it online and I was like I want it now so I didn't wait um and I picked it up but this is the Brazilian Crush Chirosa Chirosi Chirosa 40 I don't know if I'm saying that right sorry if I'm not if I'm butchering it I apologize but it has black amber plum vanilla woods it smells so good. It's like the perp. This is gonna be what I smell like all summer. Mm. And you can actually use it as a body fragrance, or you can actually spray it in your hair just to like smell good for your boo all day. You know? Like, oh, girl, your hair smells good. I'm like, really? It does? <laughs> wow. I didn't spray anything in it. No, it just smells so sweet and soft at the same. Like sweet, soft, and powerful. Like at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I suck at explaining fragrances, but it smells really, really good. You can smell the vanilla. You can smell like a little bit of like the black pepper that gives it like that woodsy, like smoky kind of scent along with the amber woods. The, I'm lying. The vanilla woods. I'm sorry. And it smells really, really good. I'm going to get the bump, like the cream that goes to it. I wish they would make this in the actual perfume because the way that this last on my skin the other night when I like sprayed it on to test it out, if they did an actual perfume, it would go crazy love this it smells really good also i saw this on tiktok and i was like seeing a lot of people talk about it i was like is it does it smell that good because i have the other one and it smells really good but i feel like the perfume to the other one that comes in like the yellow bottle like this it doesn't last as long and i'm back my camera keeps overheating because it's so hot in this dang on room so let me hurry up i have like four more products to show you guys i'm gonna speed through it my battery's also about to die so anyway next product is another fragrance this is the valentino uoma fragrance um it's called coral fantasy and it smells amazing every time i wear this i literally get so many compliments on how good i smell it's actually insane in the bottle the bottle is really cute as well i'm i'm here for this it's like a woodsy soft scent i feel like it's like sweet and woodsy at the same time those are my type of fragrances that i like if you guys haven't noticed the pattern here i love me a good woodsy ambery vanilla smoky type of scent i feel like it lasts really long on my skin and my body responds to it like my body chemistry responds to it really well and i feel like it also smells sweeter on me i smell other people wear this and it smells a bit different i don't know how to explain it but it didn't smell as sweet on, on them as it smells on me so i think it depends on your body chemistry um, how this fragrance makes you smell but it smells so good it's literally amazing and I get a lot of compliments when I wear this fragrance out and I love it and I love the packaging it's so cute I definitely want to get um there's two other versions of this that I wanted to smell and see how they smell because I'm obsessed with this one and hopefully I like the other ones I've been trying to step up my perfume game I have like my few fragrances that I like and I kind of stick with that but lately I've been venturing off and buying different things and actually really enjoying them and this just smells so good I'm talking about you can spray this on your clothes go out on a night on a town don't get home till four o'clock in the morning put your clothes in the dirty clothes 
wait a week to wash your dirty clothes and then go back and you can still smell this fragrance in your clothes that's how strong and how good it smells because it lasts a really really long time and it's amazing i love it one of my favorite purchases from this entire little haul because it just it's it's a keeper it's a winner i love her next up i picked up the fenty beauty hydrating primer this is my favorite primer i've purchased three of these this is my third one i literally love this so much it makes your makeup look so smooth your skin looks so glowy this is what i use today and i think it just looks really really good on the skin a little bit goes a long way and it lasts for a really long time and your skin just looks amazing like it's amazing it's a 10 out of 10 recommend i use it today and tried and true i'm going to continue to purchase this because i love this primer specifically so much next up is a complexion product which is also another product that i use today i actually have this product in two shades this is the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation um this this right here is a pure gem it literally makes your skin look so smooth like you see my makeup you see it it looks amazing it looks great it looks smooth it's gorgeous on the skin so I have this in two shades so originally I had um 10 warm but it was way too warm for me for some reason I don't know what's going on my skin is changing and I'm on the neutral side now so I, I was in love with the um, foundation the color the coverage the feel the texture how it made my skin look how flawless and smooth it made my skin look but I noticed that it would start turning a little like I don't want to say green more like reddish greenish I don't know but I had to get a new shade it just was not the right shade for me so I went ahead into Sephora the other day and I picked up the same exact foundation just in a neutral um, tone this is 10 neutral and when I tell you look at the face look at the skin it looks so good it's just really nice and it makes everything look really really gorgeous and soft and beautiful if you guys want a makeup routine, definitely let me know because I feel like if I showed you guys my makeup routine and how I get this face, you guys are going to be hooked. You're going to be sick because it's 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 amazing. It's just literally super flawless and just smooth and gorgeous. Super good. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really smooth, flawless. It looks really good and seamless and just, ah, uh, I can't get over it. I just really, really love it. And it's also supposed to make your skin look better over time like this really helps like makeup and skincare in one and i feel like it does make a difference my skin is definitely more even and just really overall it just looks better and i'm pretty sure that has to do with this and also all of the other stuff i use in my skincare routine because it all plays a part like makeup is beautiful it's gorgeous i love it but if you're not taking care of your skin you can put as much makeup on your skin as you want to and it's only gonna do so much you need to have like a really good skincare routine as well anyway this is what the packaging looks like. I got it in the shade 10 neutral and I am obsessed. I think it looks so much better. Like, it's giving face. It's giving lots and lots of face and I'm here for it. I would highly recommend trying out this foundation. This is a great foundation if you need like medium to, hmm. It's full coverage to me. I don't know if it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's like marketed as a full coverage foundation, but it's giving full coverage for me. Like you can do, one pump and do natural you can do uh, two pumps and get medium you can do more like i have on two pumps of this foundation and it's getting full coverage for me so if you wanted to do two more pumps or three pumps sir i'm talking about my still dirty don't don't do that um if you want to do like three pumps i feel like it would just give you super full coverage and really give you that glam but i'm a two pump foundation type of girl i just need two pumps um i don't want any more than that it's just it's gonna be heavy and i don't so I only do two pumps and this is the coverage that I got. Plus you mix in your concealer, your contour, all that, your blush, it'll be fine. So really, really great product. Glad I picked up 10 neutral because now I have the perfect shade and it's gonna look good on me for a long time. Now, oh, last but not least is another blush product. I told you guys I love blush. And this is from Rare Beauty. This is the blush, I don't have the box to tell you the name of it, but it's the Rare Beauty blush and oh, it's in the shade joy and it's actually what i'm wearing today and it looks so freaking good i love the consistency i love the color i love the tone i love how it blends into the skin i love the little applicator and the packaging is also really cute so that helps and i don't know if you guys can see but it just blends into the skin like it kind of feels like a serum 
and it's really really nice and pretty and I just think it looks so good on melanated skin and brown skin it just looks really really well and it compliments me a lot that's what I'm wearing today and I'm I'm a huge fan I'm obsessed I would definitely try out more of the blush shades from the rare beauty line because I really really love the color joy and it's it's me again I love peachy pinky orangey bright bubblegum bright pink blushes and that is exactly what this falls in the family under like a corally pinky bright blush I don't know all right guys that about wraps it up for today's sephora haul if you guys like to see more sephora hauls for me more makeup hauls more skincare hauls then definitely let me know down below in the comment section also if you guys want to see a video on how i achieved this everyday kind of glam this is my version of everyday soft glam this is what i do this is how i like my makeup to look when i don't have a lot of time and i want a glam look but i don't feel like doing all the eyeshadow and all the extra stuff and it's just very soft and beautiful and just smooth it's amazing i don't want to keep gassing myself up but if you guys want to see it, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. So don't forget to hit this video thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram. We are so close to hitting 11K, which is so crazy to say. I literally just hit 10K two days ago. Literally, two days ago, I was at 10K. And two days later, I'm almost at 11K. It's nuts. It's wild. I don't know. Things are happening, but I'm really excited about it. And I would love for you guys to join me over on my Instagram to follow me on my journey. 